This video will show how users can run an electrothermal simulation in ANSYS Electronics Desktop using the EM to Ice Pack Toolkit. To launch the EM to Ice Pack Toolkit, first install it, then view the ANSYS Customization Toolkit, or ACT, extensions, launch Wizards, and select EM to Ice Pack. You will then see the EM to Ice Pack ACT panel. Here, you can specify your existing HFSS, Maxwell, Q3D, and or HFSS 3D layout designs, as well as your thermal simulation type, thermal boundary conditions, like flow speed, direction, and ambient temperature, and mesh resolution. You can also choose whether to perform a one-way or two-way electrothermal analysis. In the package model considered here, an HFSS alternating current design and a Q3D direct current design were used as the electromagnetic or EM designs. Additional designs, including Maxwell and HFSS 3D layout, can be used to link to an ice pack thermal simulation as well. In this case, forced convection with sequential solve was selected, with velocity and ambient temperature specified. Similarly, a natural convection case could be set up using this toolkit. Also, in this case, two-way coupling was selected with four coupling iterations, and we'll choose to continue ice pack iterations during coupling. For the mesh and solve settings, we'll select no so that we can review the ice pack design before solving. Then we'll hit launch. The ACT automatically sets up an electrothermal simulation. It creates a new ice pack design and then copies the geometry and materials from the electromagnetic designs into the new ice pack design. The thermal simulation type and thermal boundary conditions specified in the ACT panel are applied to the ice pack model. The detailed heat loss distributions calculated from the electromagnetic simulations are automatically mapped into ice pack as spatial losses. Here we have losses from both the HFSS and the Q3D simulations. By running the validation check, any potential issues can be fixed before solving. Here, the mesh priority for the mold object should be lowered, since it happens to be overlapping with other objects that should own the mesh region. This can be taken care of by using the Object Priority panel to adjust the mesh priority of objects as needed. Once this issue of overlapping geometry is fixed, the validation check passes, and this setup can then be analyzed. The detailed temperature distribution calculated in IcePack will be automatically mapped back into the electromagnetic designs as spatial temperature maps. The two-way electrothermal coupling between ice pack and the electromagnetic designs is automatically handled and iterates for four iterations, as specified in the ACT. After the electrothermal simulation is converged, we can view the ice pack solver residuals and monitor points, and then go ahead and create post-processing plots as needed. Here, converged plots of temperature contours on the bodies and velocity vectors will be generated. In this case of two-way coupling, the electrothermal simulation was fully converged after four iterations, and the losses went up by 21% compared to the one-way coupling case. Notably, the wire bond which was passed into ice pack from the Q3D design saw a dramatic increase in temperature from 68 degrees Celsius in the one-way coupling case to 102 degrees Celsius in the converged two-way coupling case. While one-way coupling is helpful, this underscores the importance of having the capability to perform two-way coupling and incorporating temperature feedback into the analysis. Coupled electrothermal simulations are required to fully understand both how the thermal fields impact the electromagnetic design 
and how the electromagnetic losses impact the thermal design. The ANSYS electronics desktop bridges the gap between electromagnetic and thermal analysts, allowing users to perform detailed electrothermal simulations in a single, user-friendly environment. The EM to ICE pack ACT, shown here, automates this process so that a user with existing electromagnetic designs can set up an electrothermal simulation at the click of a button.